hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today we will see how to use one of the gesture detector behavior to achieve uh, the swiping of cards either left or right so if you had seen the tinder app one of the most popular feature is when you swipe the card or the image profile towards the left it gets removed and if you swipe it towards or drag it towards the right it gets um, added to your favorite so today we're going to achieve something similar to it but with a small twist so let's look at the ui on the emulator and then we can see how is it different from the um, other apps so, well uh, if you look at this ui it's a very simple uh, coupon list ui uh, with a list of uh, stacked cards and a button so here it's like um, say for example you have a card and you have a list of coupons available in your cart and uh, you could either select one of them and click on apply so what i've done here is i can either swipe this coupons either left or right and when it reaches the end of the coupon list the next card that appears is the same first card and also when i swipe it's not getting removed from the list it's getting added back to the list this will get this coupon will be removed only when you use an apply button so that is the kind of logic that i have used here so let me show you how this works so if i swipe to the left you can see the first coupon disappears if i do a right it gets disappeared and this is the last coupon now when i do this i'm not actually losing this coupon i'm just swiping it and now you see i get back my first coupon now this logic or this ui could be used uh, for example if you have a list of images and you want to just scroll through them but you don't want to remove them so you could use in that use case or for example you have a list of articles in your favorite and you want to scroll through all your favorite list read it go through them again but you don't want to remove it from your favorite you can definitely use this well uh, before uh, moving on with the implementation there are a few things that i wanted to mention the features that i'm going to cover in this ui is first i'll show you how to stack cards one below the other so that you could you can see that there are available cards in your stack and also how to achieve this kind of a clipping feature uh, i think i've used clip rect and the same kind of a clipping is done on your button as well and i had a similar kind of a video where i had extensively explained about uh, or covered about the clipping rect i think it was in my um, single child scroll view and border radius so you can see the similar way of clipping of the list items so i'll add a link in the description so if you want to watch this video you can definitely go through it all right so moving on to the implementation here um, i have a very simple barebone flutter project and i've used an app bar and i've used a stack widget the reason that i've used a stack widget is i'm going to stack the cards here and and just use an apply button so the if you look at the structure of this ui it's very simple it is just two components one is the card one is the button and inside this card you have the stacking property or a little bit of animations when you're swiping and how the content changes so we will look step by step so first we'll create this card and then draw this button so here i have used a stack widget with a fit stack fit expand and a children array so inside this children array i've added just one component which is my card so my card is another custom widget which is actually drawing or drawing that particular cards so we will look into in depth about what this my card is so as of now this is the first is section is my card next after the padding part you have another um, component which is your button so i have separated everything in different widgets so that um, when other developers or when you yourself read this code you should be able to understand what you're doing so first let's give an align now why am i giving an align is that so that i can actually place the button at the bottom so i'm using the alignment property and uh, with the alignment and i'm going to say bottom center and after that i'm going to use a child sized box so i'm using a media query dot of dot size and then the width all right 
Now after this we're going to use um, the height. So we're going to define the height of the button here. So as per my UI required of 50 and then the child component here is my custom widget which is nothing but an apply button. So there you go. Alright, so I've used a custom widget which is an apply button. Now if you look at what an apply button is. Alright, so here I have a very simple raised button but I'm in enclosing this raised button inside a clip R rect to get that um, curved clipping feature. So you can find more details about it in my other videos so I'll leave a link in the description. So it's a simple raised button. So I've covered this in a lot of videos, so I'm not covering this, but ensure that you add your clip rect inside it and ensure you add the property, whether you want the clipping on the top left or top right, bottom left, bottom right, and add the value depending on your um, clipping depth. So that's about the apply button. Now moving on to the my card. So this is the section where you have the cards displayed. So let's move on to this section now. As discussed in the beginning, I told you that I'm using a stack and I'm adding just two components. One is the card, another is the button. And then we saw how the button was defined uh, with the raised button enclosed in a clip R rect. Now moving on to this my card section. Now what I've done is I've defined it as another stateful widget, where here is where all the swiping part and um, stacking part all happens and I have defined another separate widget which is a stateless widget which is the coupon card and here is where I pass in all the details and I build the card for the content part and here it takes a parameter called index just to know which is what is the current card on your stack and this is the color just to give the gradient because I have used two colors on all the cards to give a gradient effect and then I have a coupon image title, detail, code, and a valid date. So that's all basically the component, uh, the content of your card, the image, the title, subtitle, code, and the valid date. So this is what the constructor looks like. And in this section, we would be defining the layout of the card. But here we will start building the card. Now, if you look at this, it's just a stateful widget. And here I'm going to add the content of the card. So if you look here, uh, it's a simple array. And uh, here it has the index color and the image and the details. So this retrieving the data could be achieved through several possible ways. So it could be from the database or it could be from, it could be a static data, anything. So what we're going to do with this data is the, uh, the part that I'm going to cover. Then next, I'm going to define few parameters for the animation so that um, I'll let you know how it gets animated when you swipe left or right. And also, I'm going to show you how to give that stacking uh, effect so that it appears one below the other with a particular offset. So we will see those sections. All right, so the parameters that I'm using would be the current index, the controller, if you're using animations, you need a controller, the animation, offset, curved animations, and then you have your init state. So in your init state, I have defined the um, basic animation parameters. So if you see here the controller, the current index is zero, then I've used a curved animation with a particular duration and the tween for the offset. And I've used that curved animation parameter here. So this is the animation part, which is very common and used in most of your uh, animation uh, widgets. Basically, if you want to animate a widget, these are the basic properties that you need to define. But these values may differ depending on your UI. Now, moving on to the build part. So this is where we are going to build. And here we are going to add the animation and the card. So here what I'm going to do is in this build method, I'm going to use a stack and retrieve all these card details so that I can add it to my card section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a stack with the overflow visible and then use map to list. And here what I'm doing is I'm going to check if my card index is less than or equal to zero. Two. Now, why am I using two is because I'm using three cards. So it's going to check for that particular index. Then I'm here. This is where I'm going to add my gesture detector. Now, if you look here, the gesture detector, the property that I'm using is a horizontal drag end. And then I'm using another uh, 
parameter called coupon drag which I'll be def de defining it in a couple of seconds and then I have used a fractional transaction and this one it does a transition of your stack cards so that it you can see how your card has been stacked and then you add your card so we will see all these details in a second so first let's see the coupon drag part so coupon drag is also another function that I've used all right so the coupon drag is a place where um, you have when you swipe the card it gets removed from the list and then the twist that I was talking about where it adds back to the stack is the functionality is happening here so by using the controller reverse I can do either swipe left or right and when that's completed what it does is it resets my controller and then it removes the card so whatever is at zero it removes the card and then I'm adding it back to the stack so this is how I can get back the cards again when I reach the last position and then it sets my correct index to card zero index so this is your coupon drag now moving on to the stack card stack card is the one that actually shows you how to display your card one below the other so that you have that feeling that it's being stacked that is this effect how do you get it so we will see here so in your stack card you are passing the card component into it and then it checks for the index and it finds if the difference is zero or less than the length of the card that is the final length of the card and it returns the offset so if I increase this value you would be able to see more details of the card so first let me show you this part and then I'll change these parameters and show you how this actually differs all right so as of now we have just constructed the card and we have defined the offset value we have done the swiping left right and what happens it gets removed and all now we'll add the content part so if you look at the content part of the um, card, it's a simple um, column widget and you need to just ensure that the entire um, container is added into the clip rect so that you could get this section. Right, so first I have defined the clip rect with a top left zero, top right 50 because as per my UI, uh, I'm clipping the top right and the bottom right. So basically this part is not touched so that's the reason I have given 50 now inside the child is nothing but a simple container so if you look at this okay, I think it's the clip right yeah so if you look at this child component it's nothing but a simple container with a particular width and height so that I get it a size of a coupon and then I've added the linear gradient gradient factor so that I could add the color one and two so which is a very common feature that I keep adding in my video the gradient the radius and then inside this all I've done is a column widget so that I can add content one below the other so to give spacing I've just used sized box text in between and this is nothing but a simple circle avatar to just get the image and I've added the coupon image here so in this I've, I've grabbed all the property because I have in my constructor all these values so I'm just using them here so circle avatar my coupon image then in my another container I have my title and another container with my details so this is all purely styling factors that I've used and then the coupon code and the coupon valid so let me build this and I'll show you how it looks well there you go this is the finish uh, product of the coupon page so I'm gonna swipe right or left and you can see how the cards get swiped and but it does not get removed from the list now I was talking about the offset part so if you see the stack card if I try to increase this that parameter that's the offset and if you look here I, I would be able to see the other card details also so if you want something like a code to be displayed of other cards you can definitely use this property or tweak with this particular parameter to get that since I just wanted um, just the borders to be displayed so I'm just using it so you could just play around with this particular parameter and uh, yeah so this is about uh, the swiping left or right uh, of your cards using gesture detector so hope you like this video if you do like it please give it a like and uh, do subscribe 
and if you find this informative please do share it thank you